Welcome to this short service of remembrance. My name is Linda Davis and I'm the vicar of the Parish Church. I'm joined by Kate from the Baptist Church, Paul from the Salvation Army and Nick and Anne from the Royal British Legion. The need to keep people safe has meant that we're not able to gather at the War Memorial as we would normally. But that will not stop us from remembering from within our homes and on our doorsteps. Remembering those who have served in the past and those who continue to serve today. Those who have died and those who continue to lose their lives today. The injured, the suffering and those who mourn because of the devastation of war. We also give thanks for those who have given so much for us and remember and pray for those who have suffered and continue to suffer so much today. Some words from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. And some words from Lamentations. This I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. As we meet here today, we meet in the presence of God. We commit ourselves to work for reconciliation, that all people may live together in freedom, justice and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. And we remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts past and present have been given and taken away. They shall grow not old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
Let us pray. Ever-living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. share together some words from the 15th chapter of John's Gospel. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. This is my command, love each other. As we pray together, you are invited, when I say, may God give peace, to respond with the words, God give peace. So let us pray. Let us pray now for all who suffer as a result of conflict, for the service men and women who have died in the violence of war, each one remembered by and known to God. May God give peace. God give peace. For those who love them in death as in life, suffering the distress of grief and the sadness of loss, may God give peace. God, God give, give peace. peace. For all members of the armed forces who are in danger today, remembering family, friends and all who pray for their safe return, may God give peace. God, God give, give peace. peace. For civilian women, children and men, whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, as we think in sorrow of the anger and hatreds of humanity, may God give peace. God give peace. For peacemakers and peacekeepers who seek to keep this world secure and free, may God give peace. God, God give, give peace. For all who bear the burden and privilege of leadership, political, military and religious, asking for gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace. May God give peace. God, God give peace. 
O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes to you above the suffering of this broken world and give us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And we are invited to say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, thy thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Those from Cottenham who died in the First World War, 1914 to 1918. Arthur Beaumont, Robin Bruce Clark, Andrew Burgess, Ernest Carrier, Harry Chapman, Frank Chivers, Arthur Clark, Fred Collins, Thomas Cornell, Bert Cox, Charles Cox, Florence Cox, Ralph Cross, George Croxon, Henry Cundall, Ernest Dan, Albert Ely, Frank Ely, Albert Few, Vincent Gortry, Arthur Gentle, Ernest Gifford, Percy Gifford, Sidney Golding, William Granger, Alfred Graves, Frederick Hewitt, John Hewitt, Robert Hewitt, Arthur Holt, Ernest Hopkins, William Horton, Herbert Kimpton, Bert Lack, John Leet, George Manges, John Milton, Malcolm Norman, William Peck, Sidney Peters, Arthur Pearson, William Pearson, Alfred Pont, Arthur Raymond, Fred Rogers, Arthur Sanderson, Amos Savage, Fred Scott, Harry Smith, William Smith, Ernest Thorborn, Harry Thorborn, Harry Thompson, Reginald Todd, Arthur Ward, Fred Ward, James Ward, Arthur Waters, Frank Warland, Harry Warland, Herbert Warland. Those from Cottenham who died in the Second World War, 1939 to 1945. Cecil Brackenbury, Harold Carter, Stanley Cornwell, George Croxon, Sidney Golding, Cyril Hempstead, Fred Hopkins, Reginald Hopkins, Jack Milton, Lionel Milton, Stephen Sanderson, Walter Scott, Douglas Smith, Aleph Trundley, Arthur Ward, Thomas Ward, Frank Young. Those from Rampton who died in the First World War, 1914 to 1918. Frederick Barnes, Albert Currington, Alfonso Norman, Harry Norman, Albert Parker, Frederick Parker, Stanley Parker, Ernest Young, Jesse Young, Jeremiah Young, Sidney Young, Sidney Jakes Young. Those from Rampton who died in the Second World War, 1939 to 1945. Leslie Walter Jaggard, Victor Maskell. When you go home, Tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. Let us commit ourselves to responsible living and faithful service. Will you strive for all that makes for peace? We We will. will. 
Will you seek to heal the wounds of war? We will. Will you work for a just future for all humanity? We will. Let us pray together. Merciful God, we offer to you the fears in us that have not yet been cast out by love. May we accept the hope that you have placed in the hearts of all people and live lives of justice, courage and mercy through Jesus Christ, our risen Redeemer. Amen. Amen. to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth and all people, unity, peace and concord, and to us and all good servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.